Welcome back, everybody. So political parties have raised concern about newly elected Johannesburg Mayor Jeff Makubo's history and allegations of corruption that have been leveled against him. The ANC candidate won the election by 137 votes yesterday. Funzel Ngobeni of the Democratic Alliance received 101 votes, while the Economic Freedom Fighters candidate, Musa Novella, only got 30 of the votes. To discuss this further, we are joined by political commentator Michael O'Donovan. Good to see you, Michael. Thanks so much for coming in. Good morning. All right. So did you expect the ANC's Jeff Makubo to be voted in as the new Johannesburg mayor? I did expect, but I didn't quite expect it to be so easy. Um, I think most people thought it would go to the second round. Yeah. Um, and it really turns out to be an election of lost opportunities. Um, you know, at one level, the DA lost all of its alliance part partners. Um, the, um, it would appear that even the Freedom Front Plus um, member of the committee voted for the ANC yeah. on the balance of probabilities. Um, EFF turns around and shows that it's totally marginal to getting a majority that even if the EFF had voted with the DA, the DA would have lost. So ANC is firmly in the driving seats now in Johannesburg. I mean, you talk about that, and if we can just look at the, the, the coalition that the DA did have. I mean, the smaller parties we're talking to are the IFP. You mentioned the Freedom Front mm -hmm. Plus, but it certainly looks that they ha voted in the ANC's favor. The ACDP, the UDM, COPE, AC, uh, I've already said the Ultima. ACDP. Um, I mean, these parties are, you know, so vocal against the ANC, and yet... Everything has shifted, and now it looks like from if one, I mean, it was a secret ballot, but if one looks at the calculations, they all voted in the ANC's favor, including two DA votes. Including at least two DA um, yeah. people. Um, I mean, the problem, but given there's a secret ballot, it's quite possible that Freedom Front person voted for the DA. Okay. But that would have meant that at least three DA candidates defected. What's going on? I mean, let's, let's talk to what's going on here. Why the sudden faith in the ANC? Or is this just a pure anti-DA vote? I'm reading it as a pure anti-DA vote. The DA has lost an opportunity over the last three years to present itself as the voice of Joe Burgers. It's failed. Their ward candidates, their representatives, have presented themselves as the voice of the DA, not of Johannesburg, not of the people that they elected. So you've had this backlash against the DA and this DA style of governance. They've lost by-elections, in the by-elections, they've got fewer and fewer proportion of the votes. Um, it has, since 2016, um, been a very poor time for the DA. And yet they um, have not tried to reposition themselves as the representatives of Johannesburgers. Mm -hmm. And that, and that is, a, is a worry because... You sort of looked at Mayor Herman Mashaba and everybody talking to him yesterday. Some people bitter, saying, you know, could you not at least just finish your term? Others just saying, the DA is falling apart and, you know, what is going to become of this party if they're losing Joburg? And it certainly is appearing at this point that Swane may be the next to go and we'll find that out probably today sometime. <laughs> but we also need to remember that it's under the Mashaba's um, stewardship that the DA lost support. Um, with uh, Andhra Mashaba and Musi Maimani, the DA had swung towards identity politics. They were touting, they were trying to get the young black vote. They were racializing DA's support. And in the process, they alienated their traditional base. So it's really, Mashaba has to take responsibility to a large extent for the loss of DA um, support, both amongst voters and amongst councillors. Mm. So Mashab is by no means the solution to the problem. We are seeing a backlash against what um, Mashab's style of governance. In South Africa, we've actually got three forms of municipal governance. And the one that uh, the metros generally adopt an executive mayor system, which concentrates influence in one individual. And a lot rides on how that individual performs. So we really end up in a situation where that individual is called to account for his or her performance once a year, mm, mm. which is not what we meant by democracy. Yeah. 
So let's talk about this individual now that has been placed in the position. So to be honest, Herman Mashaba's history, the DA are almost history now. And now we look to the future. And the future is in the hands of the ANC here in the city of Johannesburg, taking over under the stewardship of Jeff Makubo. Um, there is so much about Jeff Makubo and his past and things that are already tainting his reputation. But let's get your views. I mean, as, a, as an individual, what are your views on him? Well, I think the ANC has lost a major opportunity here as well. There will be a local government elections just in a year and a bit. And ideally, the ANC would have been positioning itself as a party of good governance and of clean governance. Now, irrespective of whether or not the new mayor is guilty of any offence, the ANC will, is going to battle to present itself as the party in which... Um, we forward candidates are above reproach. Now the new, can the new mayor enters in. There are allegations, there are criminal charges laid by Mashab against him. Um, there's already a cloud over him. So how does the ANC then go to the voters in just over a year's time and say, vote for us, we are going to be different? where what you're saying is that they're not different and that the so-called new dawn is not a new dawn because the old role players are all coming back into the fold. We yeah. saw Ace Makhashule very, very um, active in all of this during the, the voting and during uh, handing over the candidacy for the Joburg mayor. And this was a, a, a big role that he played in securing this in his own way. I mean, just is this the old guard coming back in or what are we reading into that? Well, we've got absolutely no reason to believe that it is anything but the old guard coming back. Um, Ace was not only very prominent, he was also very effective in getting the IFP and the other parties to join with the ANC. But um, that is going to be the uh, image that the ANC goes into the next election with, where the mayoral candidate, um, the architect of, the, of this um, coalition, um, are, in a sense, already tainted, mm. Mm. Uh, if not by, uh, at very least, by innuendo and by accusation. Yeah. I mean, if we look at his political career, uh, Makubo's political career, he's currently the ANC's regional chairperson. He, uh, in Johannesburg, he's also the former MMC for finance in the city. Um, what did he bring, I mean, in that position as MMC for finance? I mean, can we, can we look at his track record at least and say, oh, he did a good job in that portfolio? Well, we have to be really based on what was discovered after he left. Where, um, and what, after he left and examining, um, examining what happened under his stewardship, um, Herman Michel Belodge criminal case, a criminal case against him. Um, a lot of the allegations re relate to commissions, etc., for contracts given to Regiments Capital, um, a Gupta Link company. So, although we know nothing for sure, nothing been proven in the court of law, there are all the hallmarks of state capture. Yeah. The Guptas, Regiments Capital, um, questions regarding how contracts were awarded. Now, unfortunately, despite lodging the criminal case, um, we've had no clarity from the NPA or, or from the police regarding mm -hmm. how well-founded these allegations are. Yeah. So the ANC really sits there with an individual that might be perfectly clean, but the image is that they are not prioritizing mm -hmm. a clean uh, mayor that is above reproach. What does this mean for the, the residents of the city of Johannesburg? Because at the end of the day, yes, we see a sitting and secret ballots happening and uh, all these political wrangling behind the scenes deals being made. But at the end of the day, it's the service delivery that the people living here, including you and I, that now we look back and we sit and we think, now what? I mean, we've got positions already. We saw um, uh, Michael Sun making his uh, stance made. He, he, of course, is the MMC for pay public safety under former Mayor Herman Mashaba. He's gone and resigned. Uh, the position of, uh, of the Speaker, Vasco da Gama, also hangs in the balance right mm -hmm. now. So these positions of people that are making decisions and working the city of Joburg may very well be sort of replaced by other people at this point. What does that mean for us? Okay, now all the MMCs will be replaced. Okay. The centralization of power under the mayor means that the mayor appoints whoever 
he or she wants to, to the so-called cabinet. Um, so Michael Sun, etc., will, will all be gone. The speaker will be gone. I think the point needs to be made that what, what defined yesterday was the total absence of consideration of the voters. This is all about the parties. This is all about the EFF, uh, ANC, and the DA. Um, so we're in a situation now where we cannot really expect anything to change. Uh, to change anything in a city the size of Johannesburg takes time. Uh, new contracts have to be awarded, new people have to be appointed. It takes months, if not years, as the DA learned, mm. to change this um, trajectory. So we are not going to see very, v any differences, really, prior to the 2021 election. And so we can, the best we can hope for is that things don't fall apart. Yeah. Indeed. I mean, that's, that's the, as you say, that's the best we could hope for. We, we would hope that we could wish for a lot more than just things not falling apart. We'd hope to see uh, a lot more service delivery coming uh, in that form. But, but can it? I mean, is it, is it possible that things may turn around and that we may just actually now, without having uh, coalitions and decisions having to be shared? And, and a lot of the time you saw the frustration in Mayor Herman Mashaba saying that the provincial government was just not supporting him. That was an ANC uh, provincial government. And then it was, it was a DA municipal government. It just was very difficult for him. Maybe now we'll see things working again. Well, the, the, the real um, issue regarding service delivery is how do the employees of the city perform? Are they going to get more efficient? Are they going to more, get more diligent? And the DA was particularly ineffective in making their employees more answerable, more accountable, and more efficient. Uh, and so we get a situation where if they were unable to do it, why can we assume that um, anybody else is going to be able to get better service delivery mm -hmm. so that um, people that are on contracts perform their work diligently, on time, and are held to a service standard. Yeah. So I'm afraid there's no reason to think anything is going to be different. I want to talk to also these, you know, we've been talking about the reputation of Jeff Makubo, the mayor, and yet the ANC coming out yesterday and basically saying that, you know, they brushed it off, saying that he was cleared of any allegations by the integrity committee of the ANC. What does that mean? Do they hold any weight, this integrity committee? Because even if they have dubbed somebody uh, as, you know, someone who is tainted and should step aside, they don't listen to them anyway. But now, if they dub them clear, then they're actually fine and they can stay in a position. So that, yeah. that's per perhaps a, maybe not the right view to hold. What are your views? Well, my view is that the integrity committee needs to establish its um, authority first. It needs to be sh sure that its opinions are taken seriously. Um, it's almost as if the Integrity Committee is there to rubber stamp um, any ANC uh, person that is accused. So they have made the one, the one recommendation that, um, I forget his name, step, aside, step down for a while, mm. for a period while the, the case is investigated. But the Integrity commit, uh, Commission, to my mind, does, does not give a stamp of integrity. Yeah. Um, it may be say so-and-so is under question, and it does that very rarely. So I would not put my store on the Integrity Commission's verdict on, on this mm. case. So we're hoping to actually be joined by the mayor. Uh, in the next hour here on the program. That's, that's our holding thumbs. We, we may get him here as a guest. What would be the first question you'd ask him? Well, I'm not sure I would actually put too many questions to them because in my mind's eye I can already hear all the denials. Now, he is clean. He did nothing wrong. There are no um, kickbacks or commissions coming from Regiment's Capital to any, um, to any of the companies associated with him. Um, he, I presume, is going to say that service delivery is going to improve, um, that there will be greater accountability. Uh, it's easy to say those things. Hmm. Actually improving service delivery uh, and showing that you have a clean administration is a hard part.
All right. Well, we'll certainly pose that to him and uh, and see what his vision is for Jobo going forward. He's now in the position, and uh, we are in his hands. So let's see what happens. Thanks for chatting to us, though. Michael O'Donovan talking to us about the new executive mayor of the city of Johannesburg, uh, as well as uh, just concerns raised about allegations leveled uh, towards the mayor. He has an interesting tweet saying, this is from somebody called the River of Stars, saying... The people who are most hurt by the appointment of the new Joburg mayor are media houses. This is what he says. Uh, if it was a DA mayor, Leanne would have invited uh, that Funzile guy to the studio and now congratulating him and everybody around him. <laughs> no, I, I don't know about that. I think there are questions that need to be asked and we certainly will ask them. We're not going to shy away from that, but he is in the position of mayor and we do want to get his views going forward. And that's a, a very important conversation that needs to be held. All right, so uh, that's wrapping up that conversation in a short way.